Welcome back, everybody. This is episode 8 of our Gothic 1 playthrough. And last time, we became a part of the old camp. We're still in chapter 1, and now we are sent to the Brotherhood to investigate, to keep our eyes peeled, because something is going on. And we're going to check this out. I'm glad you're here. I have news for you. Good news, I hope. Our Brotherhood's planning a really big thing. What are you planning? To break out? The Gurus are trying to contact the Sleeper. But they need something to unite their powers. Oh, and? They need a magical object. A focus. What's that got to do with me? Talk to Eberian. He's the most powerful man around here. This is the opportunity to attain his favor. Where do I find him? Go to the temple. He rarely leaves it. Probably he feels closer to the sleeper in those cold ruins. May the sleeper protect you. And there we are. So, what he just said about the, the sleeper and Iberian feeling kind of closer to the sleeper when he's in the room, it kind of makes sense. I talked about that in a previous episode where I mentioned that somebody told me that these ruins are actually of orcish origin, not how I was speculating I said they were probably made by the people of the monastery, maybe, or the people of Yarkandar, but it seems that the design documents for Gothic 1 are pretty clear on this subject, and those documents say that these ruins right here are indeed of orcish origin. So if they were built by orcs, it kind of makes sense that Iberian has a closer connection to the Sleeper. Oh yeah, however. So before we move on to Iberion, I want to talk to Darion. Maybe we can sell some swords again. I'd like to trade with you. Good! Here, these are the weapons I have available at the moment. And my man's got the ore, which is nice. I want to get rid of all those swords I have. Here we go. And now, oh, we could speak to this Bal over here because he's also trading, but his inventory was kind of lacking when we talked to him the first time. I want to acquire magic writings. Let's see. Oh, he definitely has more stuff. Telekinesis. Yeah, not really. Crawler. Okay. Yeah. You know, we can take those, and we can take those. And we can finally get rid of the majority of the swords that we crafted. And now we have some speed potions, which might come in very handy in the future because I think now the big running around starts. The big running around in the colony. The marathon. Alright, before we head in, I'm gonna save the game and let's move on. Stop! You can only enter the Temple Hill if you have a Guru's permission. That wasn't very 
the novice Lester sent me. I shall offer my services to Iberian. Lester is trustworthy, I know him. You may pass. Well, okay then. Well, to be honest, inside it doesn't look too orcish. Way too sophisticated, in my opinion. Except for the skulls. These ornaments down here. Yeah. Okay. But before we do that, can we actually. We can. And we will. I think by now I can buy any potions in the colony. Looting the steel is actually... I don't know. It kind of breaks the game. One more. Talking with the big man. Hey, mister. Greetings, Master Iberian. Ah, I know your face. Impossible. We've never met before. But I thought, well, what do you want? I heard you were looking for something. That's right. We need a magical focus. We sent the novice Nairas to collect the focus. But he hasn't come back yet. You could check up for me what has happened. Why is the focus so important? It is a magical object which can concentrate our spiritual powers. It is one of the five focus stones used by the mages to erect the barrier. In a vision I saw that we need to use the power of the focus. Sounds like quite an interesting vision. My vision was a sign from the sleeper. We can reach him with the focus. Where shall I begin to search? Leave the camp, turn right, and go up to the tall cliff. Go beyond the forest until you can see the sea. There, you'll find the focus. I'll bring the focus back. Take this map. The location of the focus is recorded on it. Well, we know what to do, and we all know what's coming. <laughs> One of the best lines in the English version. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, let's... Let's just drink one of these nice potions. And let's go. Same old story. You know, thinking of Gothic, when when people are talking about, you know, oh, what can you add and all that stuff, I said what I liked about the what I liked about the playable teaser is that you could crouch. It opens up more ways to explore. Actually, I like this. Kind of reminds me of those olden games like Tomb Raider or whatever. I don't even know if 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 you could crouch in Tomb Raider, but it kind of reminds me of that. And then I also thought about, hey, how about running, you know, having a sprint button or whatever. But then I also think of that might be too connected to stamina. And I hate stamina in Gothic. I think it was one of the worst decisions in Gothic 3 to give the player stamina and to kind of restrict 
a certain style of fighting. Which is obviously the melee fight, you need stamina for that. But you could also run a little bit. Like, we are running right now, but sprinting, you know. Okay, let's try to kill it once more. Yeah, with another chapter, we get a respawn. Well, do we need the experience? Oh, look at this. Well, yeah, obviously we need it. But we killed a lot of stuff in the colony. In the last or the, 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 the episode that we did before that, we were running around in the orc territory. We killed quite a few orcs, actually. And once we got our new sword, we get we got back to that area and killed even more orcs. So uh, yeah, we farmed a little bit, and that was quite quite the journey. Find another shadow beast down there. Nope. I think I'm. I don't know. Does a shadow beast does a shadow beast spawn in that cave over there, or was it a modification? Pretty sure there was a shadow beast in there. But again, usually I don't play the original game. Always play with the mods. <laughs> kind of sad that all the beasts are so spread out. When we came here first, we had clusters of uh, critters. Oh yeah, that's the respawn. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Onto the other side. And there is no bloodhound here. By the way, isn't it kind of weird that they cut the bloodhounds from Gothic 2? I think it's kind of weird. I already, already said that I like these kind of creatures, but it doesn't really make sense, right? Pretty empty. But there he is. Oh, shrooms. And seraphis. Mr. Naras, hand over the focus and you will be spared. Scram! You have no business to be here! I'm searching for the focus. Unfortunately, you're too late for that. I've already found it. And I'm keeping it for myself! The sleeper talked to me last night and made me his only tool. 
Now I'll only serve the sleeper. No more Templars or gurus. Only me alone. Die! Oh. I don't think that this should happen. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. You're a traitor before our Lord Innos. You will die, bleeding out on a huge cliff. Okay. This might be the fastest way down there. Yep. So we got the focus, next mission is clear, we need some more... Oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> I forgot the biggest part, actually. We need to cross the map once more. Iberia, I bring you a gift. I found the focus. Excellent. You have done us a great favor. Now, take the focus back to Kor Kalom. He'll know what needs to be done. The novice Nyrus has gone mad. He said that the sleeper had talked to him and chosen him as his only servant. Then he attacked and tried to kill me. The might of the sleeper is so vast that unprepared souls despair over it. Only we gurus, in our years of meditation, have achieved the spiritual strength to bear the voice of the almighty sleeper. What about some kind of reward? Since you're not a member of our brotherhood, I will reward you. Mm. Take this amulet as a sign of my gratitude. Chani? Wow. What kind of amulet is that? Oh. Yeah. Oh, thanks, I'm okay. Kalam it is, then. Yeah. I doubt that's ever likely to change. I'd better keep out of it. If you think I would have to be in here. So now begins actually the time or the phase of Gothic One where it becomes a running simulator. Even though I really love this game. We should go We should go to bed first. Even though I like this game a lot, I think one of its biggest weaknesses is in fact the lack of quests in the later chapters but also as you can see right now it kind of has a problem with getting powerful pretty quick I mean the money is for example one thing you shouldn't be able to get that amount of ore right at the at the beginning it should be but don't get me wrong it shouldn't be it should be harder you know you can loot two chests basically and you don't have to worry about any kind of money what do you want Iberian sent me I have the focus ah the focus at last now I can study the magic of these artifacts if I only had enough secretion Damn! There was a time when things would have gone Secretion? Yes. As you must know, I produced the magic potions for the invocation of the sleeper. For this purpose, I need the secretion from the mind crawler's mandibles. You know what mind crawlers are, don't you? Yes, sir. Yes. Very good. What kind of experience? My research. Oh, yeah. I already asked him about that. 
Iberian said you'd pay me if I brought you the focus. Really? He said that? Well then, I suppose 50 ore should be enough. Yeah, I can buy like two potions with that. Thank you. Speak on. Well, just a short time ago, I had a vision of the sleeper himself. He gave me a sign. He made me understand that there is a means other than the secretion from the mandibles. And he chose me to pass on this mission. You're not getting this mission from me. You're getting it from the sleeper. Impossible. Be silent, fool. <laughs> he made me understand that the path I have embarked upon is right, but the means aren't strong enough. The right means can be found with the mind crawlers, but the mandibles are not sufficient. There must be something else. Have you never examined the mind crawlers? I mean, maybe there's another body part which contains more of the secretion. Of course, we have taken some mind crawlers apart, but only their mandibles seem to contain the secretion. There must be something else. Find their nest, and you'll find the answer. Where will I find the mine crawlers? In the old mine. What's the best way to fight the mine crawlers? There are Templars in the mine. They hunt the crawlers for their mandibles. Speak to Gornaved. He will help you. How can I find the nest in the mine? That's the hardest part of the mission. I can't tell you where to search, nor what to search for. But the sleeper will be with you. Well, that's a comfort. Looks like this might become quite a bloody adventure. Take these potions with you. I am not giving them to you because I want you to stay alive, but because this task needs to be done. Yeah. I'll be seeing you. May the sleeper enlighten you. What a nice person Kalam is, really. Doesn't have villain written all over it. <laughs> but it is what it is. Okay, old mine is it. Let us save the game. And then we are on our way, but on our way to the old mine, we're stopping in the old camp. I'm gonna check the merchants. I mean, we should have enough potions for now, but I really want to get rid of the of the weapons. Better keep on. Lester. Okay. May the sleeper protect you. Oh, this is also something that I want to talk about real quick. And it's basically the involvement with the four friends. It's a bit it's a bit lacking. You are introduced to all of them. You know, you go to the new camp, there's Gorn, you have that conversation about um what's his face? Shrike, I think. And he tells you a little bit up about the new camp. So, basically, that happens with all the four friends. And next time you meet them and they've got, got something new to say, is basically when you hunt the, the Foki. But in between, there is not much, actually. And I would have liked if there would be more bonding between the friends and you. And it all culminates basically later on when they're meeting up, when they have their secret meeting. But you're not invited or anything like that. It's just like, oh, tell them that we're meeting up. You tell them and then it's, then it's done. It would have been cool if you would, be, you would have been invited to it and they talk about possibilities, how to escape. Um, not the barrier, but, well, this situation, which we are soon about to witness. Look at that. Are there more mole rats down here in the cave? There he is. 
Let's check this area. Maybe the scavengers have returned to their ancestral fields. Indeed they have. Take another potion. Oh, I shouldn't have done this. We're almost at the gate. This was a waste of resources. Hey guys, I'm back. Did you miss me? First of all, let's talk to Dexter. For Gomez! For Gomez. Show me your let's goods. I got else. the best stuff here. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Where's your so ore? Never learn. No ore, no deals. That, won't that wasn't very clever. You can let's take talk those. That's not really my problem. You can sell that bitch. A thousand? Wow. Okay. And what about you, Mr. Fisk? For Gomez! For Gomez. Show me your good. Ah. Okay. His weapons are shite. Can also take... Yeah. Let's do this. Weapon, orc weapon, yeah, we don't need the hammer, right? I keep it. Same old story every time. Oh. That is enough. Are there any other traders in the outer ring? Nope. Let's move inside then. People always talk. There must be something about that story after all. There must be something about that when story will... after all. Oh, look at that. It's happening. The worst. Wait. We're on YouTube, right? Let's talk about something else instead. I probably I probably shouldn't do that. Yeah, I need to avoid them. Wasn't very clever. It said, "Hey, you. Now what? The time's come for you to prove you're a true friend. Just ten or and you're in. What do you say?" Dude, see ya. Take care of yourself, kid. Mate, I'm part of the whole thing now. I can protect myself. That won't happen again. That wasn't. Okay, here's Grim. I think Grim. For Gomez. For Gomez. Take care. Hey, have you heard the news? In Extreme over here. They're on stage over there. Hurry, otherwise you miss the gig. I probably want to miss the gig because of Mr. Copyright. For Gomez. Yeah, for Gomez. Hang on, better not go. For Gomez. For Gomez. Oh no. Okay. I better keep out of it. Damn. That wasn't very clever. Enough. Let's talk to Skip then. Oh, we can we can tr we can trade with Bartholo, right? For Gomez. So. I could do with a few things. I could sell you a few things. Let's see. Okay. Also, shit. Let's get rid of all the stuff. Mole red fat. 
Okay. Oh man. Take that, buddy. Yeah, now we talk with the mages. I don't want to become a fire mage. Yeah, people. Greetings. Greetings. I want to acquire magic writings. Sulfur, okay, hands. Look at this man. It doesn't make sense to sell all of this, actually. But I want to clean up my inventory, so. It is what it is. I can I can give Raven some kind of uh, report, right? Hello, friend. Can I trade with Bartholo? Okay, must have been a must have been some some kind of a modification that I played. Hello. I just thought I'd report in. Good. I like being kept up to date. I don't really know what they're planning yet. Then why are you bothering me? <laughs> Bro, Let me. You know a few things. Why don't you tell them? All right. Then we're moving to the mine. Nothing left to do here. But keep it to yourself. By the way, we need to save some of our exp uh, skill points because we need to learn two-handed combat, which is quite expensive. Okay, there's nothing here, I think. Yeah, you guys are too too slow actually. I'm sorry. But you know what? We can try to kill black goblins. On the other side of the river, there is that cave. But first, we are going to kill the blood flies, and then we move to the to the goblins. Quite a lot of them. It's a horde.
Another poker. Mana potion. That loot is actually really whack. Really, really whack. forward to the remake how it will handle the whole situation going down in the old mine like i think obviously we will see big changes in this general area actually oh man i shouldn't be so hyped but it's difficult it's difficult i explained myself i just have to see and wait And let's go. Hey guys, I'm back. Hello. Can I trade with you, Santino? For Gomez. For Gomez. Can I trade things with you? I have everything you need. Yeah, but still, your inventory is shit. Okay, first we have to talk with Ian, right? Oh man, it's been it's been a long time. For Gomez! For Gomez. There must be a nest of mine crawlers somewhere here. There are probably dozens of nests here. Listen, I need to get to this nest now. I don't have time to see to it now. Our masher doesn't work anymore. The gear wheel broke a few hours ago. I've no idea where to get a new one. Just get me a gear wheel, then I'll see to your problem. I have the gear wheel. Hey, well done. I think that'll work. Now, what about you? You're looking for the nest of the mine crawlers. Hmm. Just go to Askan and tell him to open the gate so you can search the dark shafts. Just tell him everything's gonna be fine. Then he'll know that I've given you permission. I'll just have a look around. Don't make any trouble. First, we need some light. Give me a torch. Hey, Asgan. Everything will be fine. Uh, well, hang on. Better not go. But keep it to yourself. People don't. Did they respawn enough. by any chance? No. It was off. Yeah. Well, that Such a shame we didn't kill them. Did you know there is another ba another barrel? Oh, there was a slip of my German accent. Have you have you have you heard it? Another barrel. Oh boy. Yeah. And another one. Look at that. Jesus Christ. 
Yeah, once the crawler appear, we are moving into the barrel. Alright. For Gomez. For Gomez. There must be a nest of mine crawlers here somewhere. The whole bloody mountain is just one big crawler nest. Why have you closed the shaft? It didn't matter how many crawlers we kill. More and more just kept coming out. Sounds like there must be a nest somewhere near. Let me open the gate. No, this gate can only be opened with Ian's permission. Nothing will be done before. Hey, Ashgan, you may open the gate now. I've already told you, only if Ian... Ashgan, everything's going to be fine. And best regards from Ian. Well then, if Ian is responsible for this, but only under one condition. What condition is that? Just give me two or three tempers for support. I don't want to be here on my own when the crawlers come out of the shaft. Yes. That is a favor that I can return, actually. Of all the fighter types in the colony, I, I would really trust the Templars. Even though most of them go mad, but that's where the power is. I need your help. I'm looking for secretion for Kalam, and I know where the crawler's nest is. Will you be there when the passage is opened? When fighting crawlers, it often costs a lot of blood. If you bring me a healing potion, you can count me in. Here, maybe that'll help. Thanks. You can count on me. We'll meet down below with Askan. I'll be there. I know where the crawler's nest is. I'm going there to get something for Kalam, so he can brew a stronger potion. Then you'll need my blade. I'll join you. Good. We'll meet at the big passage. Wait. Can I ask random Templars? No, right? No. Oh. What's up, boy? <laughs> okay, last one is up here. Who is it? Going a bar? Yeah, I should be going a bar. That's really not my problem. I need your help. I'm looking for secretion for Kalam, and I think I know where the crawler's nest is. If we open the passage, will you be there as well? The crawler's nest. Finally, my sword is at your service. Well, that is nice to hear. Let's open the gate then. Yeah, this actually won't be a big problem, because we are pretty overpowered by now, even though we're just level... 14. Hmm. Oh, I forgot about Viper. For Gomez! Can you give me ore? If you can give me any goods! They kind of forgot to implement the spawn of Chapter 2 in the dungeons, which kind of makes sense, I can see. No, I, I can't really see why they left it out. You should be able to trade with these guys. Alright. For Gomez! All preparations have been made. The gate can now be opened. Okay then. Open the shaft now. We'll let the show begin.
this is such a cool design. Everything about the mind crawlers, they are they're really elaborated on them. Um, with visual designs and I can see through the textures, but well. Yeah, I love these fleshy tubes. And I wonder what they're for. What is their use? Is it to transport the crawlers? Is it for, I don't know, transporting the swarm or maybe for... It sounds weird, but digestion or feeding tubes? I don't know what that is. But it's very, very interesting. And I, I really like the design of this. Yeah, I forgot about that. We learned that earlier. And here we have this red stuff, which kind of looks like webbing, like a weird net out of secretion or something like that. And we can find that on Karinus as well, and the mines at Dexter's hideout. It's like the big fight of the chapter, I think. Or it is supposed to be the big fighter of the chapter. But yeah, it's it's not very impressive once you're a little bit overpowered. And I don't even think that the Minecrawler Queen can do much. I think the concept is very cool. And this is the perfect opportunity to... Well, yeah, think about, you know, smaller boss fights. I mean, boss fights in Piranha Bytes games were always a little bit lackluster. <laughs> I mean, what am I saying? They were dog shit, man. And I hope that they give us something more... Yeah, something that... that I don't know, That that's kind of a little bit difficult I don't know man I, I I can't really expect them to do something like Dark Souls you know where where the fights the boss fights are so on point at least uh, most of them at the same time I'm kind of expecting that a creature like the Minecrawler Queen isn't just like a random NPC and uh, it only hits a little bit harder I expect a little bit more um, there is this modification that I don't really like it's called uh, the returning and I think there was a mind crawler fight that was definitely more interesting while you tried to kill the mind crawler queen she would spawn crawlers all the time and she also had a, a ranged attack some kind of asset spit because the Minecrawler Queen is static, you know, it's, 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 it's not really moving. And you need to play with that lack of mobility. So I think what that mod did good was that boss fight in particular. And yeah, I hope something like that or even better um, will be implemented with the remake. 
But again, we need to see and wait. Awaken! I found the nest of the queen. I thank you in the name of the entire brotherhood. May the sleeper continue to hold his protective hand over you. May the sleeper awaken. Let me awaken! Can you tell me more about the crawler? Oh, no, no, no. We heard that. I found the crawler nest. Wonderful. Now go back to the camp and finish this mission. Cor Kalam will be waiting for you. May this sleep. I bet he is. Awaken! I found the nest of the queen. You've shown courage and spirit. We need people like you. May the sleeper protect you. For Gomez. The minecrawler shouldn't be a threat anymore. That's good news. I'll just send a messenger to Thoris. I'm asking myself... I haven't... Again, I haven't played Gothic for a, some time now, and... On top of that, I haven't played the old camp for even longer now. I know that you're able to switch later on to the new camp. I should have spoiled this playthrough. <laughs> I already did it a few times. Oh man, I, uh, come on, let's, let's be honest. Uh, not many people who don't know the series will watch this playthrough. Mostly veterans and you all know what's coming. I stopped talking about this. <laughs> okay, Ian. For Gomez! Yeah, I saved you all. I found the nest. Then we'll finally have peace and quiet here again. <laughs> no offense. Good work, boy. Here, take this crate of beer for your efforts. I'll just have a look around. Don't make any trouble. It's strong beer. Crazy, man. That should give you, I don't know, health points or something like that. Because this quest is supposed to, supposed to be like uh, the big thing, you know? What can I do with six beers? Come on. Yeah, I was talking about, you know, for... for the question is... Uh, what will my audience will will be you know who is it who is this whole playthrough for again i don't think that newcomers will come to my channel it's more of a veterans thing tuning in at least that is my impression when i look at comments and all that but i think i've got to excuse myself because i'm very new to this it's so much different than writing scripts or talking about a visual aspect. Hey, you did a good job with the crawlers. You deserve to be admitted as a guard now. Just go over to the old camp and speak to Thoris about it. Okay, Drake. See ya. May I pass through? Yeah, um, as I was saying, it's, it's, it's different to describe a screenshot, you know, and talk a little bit about it. And if I like it, what is my critique and all that kind of stuff. But playing a game, keeping people entertained. Jesus Christ, that's something really, really different. And I don't have much experience with these kind of things. So I'm very sorry. Okay. And even through the rain and the fog, I can see that ugly mountainside. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let's head to the old camp and... Hey. Maybe we can be a guard now. Also, this is something that kind of irritates me a little bit. It seems like we just became part of the 
old camp and now we're already admitted to the guards which is kind of too fast in my opinion so oh now it went dark can't see shit so i in, in my opinion they should work on pacing again to draw out the time that you can really get into the whole shadow thing because essentially what it comes down to what what are the shadows right is, is it is it like the primary line of defense they're not no they're they're kind of messengers they're like light warriors in a way but they're not really fighting the wars Yeah, messengers, thieves, spies, something like that. And I think this was the original idea. Hey, I'm glad you're here. Thoris wants to see you. What does he want? I'm sure he'll tell you soon enough. And that is actually, I think, the origin of their name, right? Shadow? Which means you're, you you're acting... Um, in the background, not in the foreground, like the guard, for example. But yeah. For Gomez! For Gomez. You have something to tell me? Yes. What you did in the mine not only shows some courage, but it also proves your strength and your fighting skills. I'm ready to accept you into the ranks of the guards. I'm giving you a chance. What do you say? I want to become a guard. I'm glad to hear it. But first I must tell you something that I tell all new recruits. Listen carefully. I shall say this only once. So far, you've tried to get by on your own. Those days are over now. My boys stick together. We guards protect the ore barons, the ore, the camp, and the mine. The diggers collect the ore, but we make sure that they don't get eaten by crawlers. The ore barons negotiate with the king, but we're the ones that protect them. Day and night, we're in the mine. Day and night, we stand at the gates of the camp and make sure folks get to sleep peacefully. We were a wild bunch when we started out here, but now we're a force to be reckoned with. We've all worked hard to build up this life for ourselves. I only expect one thing from my boys that they stick together. Only by standing together will we be able to hold on to what we have and to survive. You'll learn everything else in due course. Be ready and help out wherever help is needed or something needs to be done. Go and ask Stone to give you some armor and a sword. You'll find Stone in the blacksmith shop in the inner ring. I want to learn how to handle a two-handed sword. Okay, let's go through the basics first. Hold the sword in a horizontal position. You'll need more swing to attack your opponent with such a heavy weapon. Raise your arm and swing it straight down. That's usually enough to knock the opponent down. Use the momentum of the weapon to bring it straight back up again. Two-handed swords are ideal for coordinating side hits to keep opponents at a distance. That should do to begin with. Have a practice. Oh, one more thing. Welcome to the guards. Thank you. I hear you're one of us now. Not bad for someone who's not been here long. Yeah, right? Crazy, actually. You shouldn't believe everything, eh? You've made the right choice. You'll enjoy being a guard. Hey, you've made it pretty far, considering you ain't been here long. I could do with a few things. I could sell you a few things. Well, he still has no better swords. Yeah. Stone, where's my piece of armor? For Gomez. I need armor. So, Thoris has accepted you, huh? 
Congratulations. Another one eager to stick his neck out for Gomez. Oh well, what do I care? Here, take this armor and sword. Welcome to the guards. Let me pass. For Gomez. I need better armor. You can have it when you're ready for it, and only if you have enough ore. What? I want a hip. Only the upper class of guards can have one of them. I you can have. I want a north. Thoris says you have to make your way as a guard before. I'll see ya. Let me pass. Okay. It seems I have to run around with this one. But to be honest, I will still wear this one because of fashion. Did they patch this? Can you can you actually buy the the heavy armor, or is it just uh, is it just bait, and you never can really go for it and buy it? That's kind of sad, actually. Okay, we need to go to the south. Hey man, new oh, here? No. I haven't seen you. Get lost. You're not in a good mood today, are you? I better come with you. Fuck off. Tell me, where are we going? Or is it supposed to be a surprise? <laughs> I like surprises. Nothing but fights. It had to be done, my friends. But the menace still avails. He is not dead yet. And I fear for his... Uh, 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 for his presence. Oh, I forgot we can still do the chromanine, right? Uh, let's get the book real fast and then we're moving to the sect. It would really surprise me if you would be able to get the heavy heavy guard armor. Or maybe it is a modification that I'm playing that, you know, puts the heavy guard armor in the game. I don't recall that being the case. Very strange. And there it is. in three. I found the book. Okay, new camp. Oh man, one minute is not enough. Especially when you need to stop all five meters to kill some more creatures like this snapper. the situation with the ore, we are rich, really, really rich in the second chapter already. Um, if I think back, where we started our journey and we went down the, the mountain and there was Drax and Redford, 
and uh, one of them was like, yeah, uh, you can train uh, taking trophies from creatures. Usually I think about that in Gothic too, because it's, um, it, it kind of makes sense. You can sell that shit and you kind of have sometimes problems when it comes to money in Gothic 2. But you don't have these problems in Gothic 1, right? So, in my opinion, you need to balance that. Um, there is... Uh, th there should be a need, for example, to, to go for these skills, you know? It's like, right now, it's not just the money that you get from the trophies, but also... What would you do with the trophies besides selling it? And, and there are some modifications give you the opportunity to craft um, some, some armor from the pieces that you gather from all the, all the animals in the colony, right? I mean, it's not you who's able to craft those things, but it's... Who is it? Um, oh yeah, it's, it's Wolf from the, from the new camp. And he's basically like, oh yeah, uh, I can craft you some armors. And there is different kind of tiers, in a sense, different kinds of levels. And I say, for example, the first piece of armor is like a wolf pelt armor with um, wolf skins and a few teeth or um, claws or whatever. And then the, the next best armor might be like the lurker skin armor. And uh, to be honest, in that modification, they had a really cool model. Like, not the model itself, it was an already existing model, but uh, the texture was pretty unique and it looked very fine. And it gives you more opportunity, you know. You can feel like a hunter, you're gathering the shit, bring it back to the new camp, and he's making a, a piece of armor for you, which is really, really interesting. And I would love this to be implemented. And that there is um, actually really a need to, to say, I want to learn taking trophies from animals, not just for the armor, but also to later sell them and to actually have a need for um, making money in general. Because right now, look at that. How much ore do we have? I mean, we just bought a piece of armor. No, we didn't. We didn't. Four and a half thousand. This is actually amazing, and all the shit with, that we still have, I bet if we, if we would sell everything, we would ha have way over 10,000 ore by now. But we have so much stuff, actually, from our heist, from killing stuff, from picking up shit. Not all, uh, uh, all the merchants combined in the whole colony couldn't even give us enough ore to trade for all the stuff that we have. It's, it's crazy if you think about that. Enough of that blubbering, Mr. Kalam. Oh, <laughs> that's a Baryon, man. Yeah, so we are pretty close to the invocation of the sleeper, I'd better keep but there's still some things that we need to do. And I think it might be a good time to end this episode right in front of Kalam. And then we start off to another part of our adventure in the next episode. So with that, I thank you all for watching and I see you next time. Bye.